I'm Tony Dunn. I'm the head of the Design Interactions program at the Royal College of Art. And we're in the degree show today down in the Battersea campus. The Design Interactions course is fundamentally an interaction design course, but in the broadest possible sense. So we started years ago looking at how designers could design interfaces for digital products mainly. And a few years ago we started to broaden that to look at how designers could work with recent developments in science like biotechnology. And recently we've been zooming out even more and trying to look at how they can get involved with geopolitics and financial markets and really big issues. In this project, Kobe started by buying one of Elvis's hairs on eBay and having it um, genetically analyzed so he could get the code. And then he didn't do the next step, but the idea is to then transfer it into a mouse so you have a transgenic mouse that embodies Elvix's genes. And then he's built this structure using fairly standard testing environments for lab mice that subject them to different experiments. Like this one, for example, uses sound to stress them. And these are usually used to sort of test how you can change the behavior of a mouse. And he's used a series of these that reflect moments in Elvis's life that would, if you put a mouse in here, in his view, create a mouse version of Elvis. Of course, it's completely impossible, but he's really fascinated by how scientists can do experiments on mice that are supposed to reveal behavioral qualities of human beings. And so he's playing with biographies and mice as models for humans and the kind of apparatus that are developed to um, do those experiments. Damien Park looks at the idea of what happens when medical science and technology allows us to extend our lives so we might live to 150 years. So she's come up with the idea that families would be unsustainable and we might have family shares where you could move from family to family over your life for financial reasons or for emotional reasons. So these photographs focus on four scenes in um, a real couple's imagined life in one of these extended families. So in the first case, they've decided not to renew their marriage contract, which would normally be for 30 years. They've done it twice, they've been together for 60 years, and they're going to go their separate ways. This shot shows the father and the 52-year-old son, and this son has opted to not be a father anymore, but to take on a less responsible child role. And the final one looks at what happens when a family member leaves and they hand out a death notice, although they're not literally dying, in terms of the family, they no longer exist and all records of being in that family are erased. So this project by Stefan looks at the idea of what it would mean to work with living materials. And he's taken a fairly common material called kumbacha, which is a living material. It's been used by other artists and designers, but he's very interested in how production line might change. So each of these pots takes about nine days for the material to uh, form on the top. And then after nine days, this little suction cup picks it up and moves it around into the wooden clamp. And then this needle penetrates it and uh, inflates it. And then once it's dried, it floats up. It doesn't really have a practical purpose, but it's much more meant to be suggestive of what would a biological factory be like that's not making plastic stuff, but stuff out of living materials. But Stefan's also created a lot of experimental studies looking at um, the material itself. And although other people have grown it as um, a sheet form that they can use to make dresses, for example, and I think people have covered furniture in it, He's been interested in, could you grow it already sealed to create um, containers and pouches and boxes? And he's produced this lovely book documenting all the various experiments, tests and things that he's done over the last few months.